Race of 2002 here. Sorry, I am a bit late on an upload. This is going to be a bit more of a different upload than them. I'm also doing a mixer as well. Hi. So, let's get straight into it. Um, as you can see right here, I finally got one toy that I should have had a long time ago, which is the MOC. My personal opinions, people, if you have also a terabyte, I've got to definitely say, up to you, I'd have the terabyte, especially if you're a role player and you know, or if you just want somewhere where you can just chill out with friends. The MOC is definitely the way to go. Your drive, no matter if you're driving or your friends are driving, I'm going to be showing you what is hopefully soon to be my setup. And I don't quite have the money. I'm um, okay, so I'm just quickly pulling her over here. Um, okay, so I'm doing a brief bit, of, a little bit of a brief tour, which is going to be kind of bland as she's not complete. I am still needing to get a couple more things before the before the MIC is complete. Then after that, I'm going to be getting a terabyte, which that's where the fuck's going to happen. As you can tell, I've got my car garage here. You can definitely just sit in there, ready and waiting for action. This is going to be my living, when I get the money, this is going to be my living quarters. As I said, it's close to my garage. And as you know, everyone likes to be close to their cars, especially well, not everyone. And here is going to be where all my cannons and shit is going to be operated from, yep. This is going to be where all the toys are going to be happening. Um, okay, so, pretty much, my MOC... Looks a bit bland, yes. Phantom Custom. I have the Phantom Custom. As I don't really want to have a flat nose freaking thing like that. Especially if you're a role player. If you're a role player, it's best to have that cab in such that comes faster, better, and it doesn't really look like, hey, I just want to go die right now. Okay, there's the living quarters, which is going to get turned into my main command center. Bay 2. As I said, I don't know what people want. Some people might want a weapon store or weapon workshop. Some people might want this. Which a lot of people have that, and I find that a big waste of space as you could have a living quarters in there. Try You could have Bay 1 as your command centre, Bay 2 as a living centre, well, a living quarters. Bay 3 as a personal car garage, as your car garage, and then, this is just my personal opinion, I actually quite like the look of the MOC in the red and black, it actually gives that bit more of a nice effect. So for what I need done, I need 580,000. A lot, well, I've already put a lot into it, um, if I had to go back to when she was completely by in stock, I would need it. Well, if I wanted just to get that, if I wanted to ditch my living quarters idea and go to that, I would be looking over a million dollars. And frankly, I don't have the time to save up over a million dollars. So what I'm going to do is plain bone and simple. Is have all that set up, ready and waiting. Or if I really wanted to, I could have had it like that. I could have had a two bedroom lady garage. I could have had a two better sitting here. Or if you really want to, if you just love having a lot of room where a lot of friends could just hang out in the back, you could have it as a three bedroom if you really wanted to. But no, my best bet is if you are a role player and you seriously want to get out there on the road, be careful. These things are pretty fucking wide, as you can see in that picture. That trailer is tall, and bloody it is one fat ass trailer. So if I had 580 bucks. 580,000 bucks, I'll look that now, but sadly I only have 339,604 dollars. I wish I had a Benny's car to sell, because I would have sold it, and I would have got myself the upgrades. At the moment, that's pretty much what she looks like. On the outside, I will tell you the specs when I get into my uh, facility. Not facility, bunker, because I just remembered facility... If I wanted to put this in my facility, I would be allowed to, as uh, that's what I'll get the Avenger. 
I'm still in the market for some new good toys. Um, oh, talking about it, talking about new toys. Um, people always say the Mark II Oppressor is literally a tryhard's way of life. I currently disagree with you that quote. For one reason, I am not a tryhard, and still, I own an Oppressor Mark II. Half of one ain't completely weaponized. The best bet of a Mark II oppressor, like mine, for example, here, is the missiles. Actually, this, if you have a friend, do a certain mission, which could earn you a couple of million in around about 15 minutes. Just saying, that is a pretty good tip and, tip and trick of life in GTA. So, everyone who says, oh, that local oppressor ride is a try hard. I think they could be just riding around having a casual fly like me at times. I literally like having a casual fly. I let my friends ride it. Um, I don't let random ride it. Like, I let my friends drive my truck if they have to. As you can see, I've got my signature deep red in it. She was originally black and red, the cab black, the trailer red, but I got bit bored of that. So, I decided to add some differences in it. But without further ado, I really got to say that is not it of it, as I'll be also doing a bit of a test around Los Santos to see how practical both of these two vehicles really are. Well, I've been trying to drive Los around Los Santos for a good five minutes before this. These narrow streets and this big fat, this big fucking fat trail makes really rockstar. You could have thinned out the trailer a bit; it would still have around about the same freaking um same use and practical and practicality because as the fact that if you're a role player and you drive around with a big fat trailer like this, cops are gonna get the suspicions, they're gonna pull your ass over as they think you're doing drugs. And yet it could just be your workshop on wheels, your house on wheels, your command center on wheels, uh Weapons and vehicles on wheels, could be anything like that. Which that moves me on. If I had, the, when I get the terabyte, I will be also doing a review of terabytes. Um, also, I gotta thank Pylon Gaming for giving me the idea of doing reviews on vehicles. I did not think of it until I watched his channel. As well as, God damn me, that chrome would be out of. Honestly, how did you do that? I do not know with the die, 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 die. What did you just do? Get an iPhone and put it on repeat of die constantly? Shit, that shit is freaking funny. Man, I would have had a bit shit ton of editing into that. Which that also brings me on to another YouTuber. Sonendo, stop fucking lying about GTA. Everyone knows it's not coming out just yet. You've been doing this, what, since last year, the year before? It's only been three years since the upgraded version of GTA. And that's why they have not up... That's why they have not made GTA 6 yet. They're still doing updates. They're still doing big major updates and shit to GTA Online for GTA 5. We're getting bored of it, yes. But well, why do you think they're giving us double money in our pair time? Why do you think they're giving us 250 grand? Yes and no. Talk about it, I'm still waiting for my 150,000. Rockstar, that brings me on to the next thing about Rockstar. Um, when they say 48 hours, sadly I got mine around about 4 or 5 in the afternoon. I have to wait till 4 or 5, 4 or 5 in the afternoon today. Can't they just give us instant money? But like, honestly, the only other way I can think of earning a little bit more money is going on to my other character, getting that golden retriever, getting that golden revolver. I used to say retriever as I'm used to saying that about dogs. Um, getting that golden revolver, doing those 50 headshots to fucking AIs, and um, yeah. Pretty much, then get the 250 grand, put into the bank account, switch back over to this character. Basically, rob my other character of money. There is ways on how to get money in GTA Online. I have the 
if anyone's on Xbox One and you want to do Doomsday Act 2, non-glitched of course, as the glitch is already patched. When your friends say the glitch is not patched, you gotta ask them for evidence as Rockstar. And people have noticed, one of my friends have noticed, which is, um, I'm not going to mention his name, but he had noticed the app 2 is patched. So I'm going to say yes, I had fun with the app 2. Um, the app 2 was pretty good and all, but, you know, she, yeah. Sadly, that's patched. Um, MOC. Back to the MOC. Um, if you want to drive your MOC, this is just a tip of advice. I'm not saying go and fucking do it. Drive it around the country. It's the most practical roads, and they're actually wide enough to fit the thing. Uh, literally, one lane is good enough to fit this. Better yet, the roads ain't so narrow. And there ain't as much sharp bends as the the city. Like, trying to drive around the city near my house with this thing is freaking insanely tough. It's the only reason why I'm changing this to a mobile home. And this is the only reason why I'm changing this to a full-fledged mobile home. Is the fact that, hey... I've got a shower, I've got a bathroom, I can change my clothes. I can just stop anywhere for the night. Sensible, of course. I can just stop in the fucking middle of the road. For example, you can just stop right here. There we go, that's another thing. If you didn't know about your local MOC drivers, we have to physically upgrade this in the bucket. No, this is not a stock standard MOC. She did turbocharge, she's got the level 4 engine in her. Um, I, since the last time you guys see me, I'm now level 146. I can't see if it's gone on to 147. I just gotta quickly do some things so I can move something around for my broadcasting so I can actually see with the broadcasting know exactly what the hell's going on. Um, I'm sick and tired of seeing that. Okay. There we go. Which you know, basically just started off. Um, that's basically the way of everything in part of my vehicle, but. Everyone knows that this is the MOC, so... For over a million dollars, you can get yourself a practical use of a truck. The trailer comes in handy. But if you're in wide areas, as you can see right here from my wide terriers experience, I've almost rolled the thing a couple of times yesterday. Uh, as well as I'm going to, if you want me to down in the like geek if I can get up to around about 50 60 thumbs up I'll be showing everyone my way on making money which um, sadly I'll have to keep spending or else I would be a freaking millionaire right now um, but this truck I've got to say the truck comes in handy the oppressor let's go take a look at the oppressor shall we okay so the oppressor mark 2 The thing with the Oppressor Mark II is everyone who doesn't have one, they think you can get missiles straight up, you're wrong. You need an Avenger, you need an Avenger, a Terabyte or an MOC with that custom freaking, sh the customization shop sitting in the back of it. Makes that customized vehicles and weapons in the back, which is like fucking 955,000, which is highly ridiculously expensive. But for that, you can upgrade from your fucking little machine guns. Which, I gotta say, these machine guns are not the most powerful weapons in the game. My friend yesterday, if I was doing a recording yesterday, he would have shot me off like 400 times in a lobby, I would have been shot, off, been shot off it. Is it practical for an everyday vehicle? Uh, depends if you wanna fly. If you love flying every day, go for it, like literally. If you're sick of using your goddamn jets just to get from A to B. Be my guest, get one. These things do come in handy. Better yet, you can say to your friends, hey, I'm four wheel driving when you're really just on your oppressor being an absolute cockhead. Here.
But yeah, you can get up Mount Chiliad in a number of seconds, Mount Gura in a number of seconds if you want to see the ghost, and um... Oh, there's no ghost up on here. Um, whatever the fuck's up on here, I think it's like Saint or something up on here. Neon you know, wine. Off one, fucking hell, it's just this e glass with a monster. God damn, I wish that tank from fucking Pearl on, Ga Pearl on Gaming was here. I would be so fucking psyched if you'd done that. <laughs> Honestly, man, I would love to be in one of your videos. Just make sure I'm not a good educator. I am actually on my own, mate. You can't tell that I'm, I'm in a pub, private session on my own, so yeah, I actually do own this myself. Which yeah, actually kind of rules, but sad thing was, um, yeah, I kind of needed to borrow it. I, I kind of need to get some shortcuts for this stuff, just so I can actually make a review. I'm doing this on YouTube as well, mate. And if you want to join, you can. I don't have a problem with that. God damn it, I'm going to get that control. As well as Trooper Dustin 88, I'm also doing a YouTube video at the moment. Just to give you a bit of a heads up there. Damn it. Okay, well, these things are pretty practical. Um, as I've been saying, not everyone on this is a tryhard. The majority of people are a tryhard, boy. Like, my good mate Dallas Wendrill, which, yes, that's what's like his YouTube account for some reason. He knows I'm not a tryhard, and yet I still own one of these things, as these things are a little ball of fun if you really want to just... For example, if you are into absolutely watching AIs fly halfway up the fucking road, definitely get one because that little booster up on the back makes a freaking comedy gold, as well as if you're into making memes. Best meme vehicle yet. One of the best, apart from the MAC, when you get the command center, God damn it, that is pretty freaking funny when you just see that just one guy in the jet just randomly flying around. And then you just shoot him down. Uh, they just shoot him down out of the sky. As well as Trooper Dust, if you want to look it up, it's GTR Racer 2002 on YouTube if you want to subscribe. Okay, where is this AI? Okay, so this is the funny part. Uh, this also does can give, this can also give you instant karma, for example, instant karma. But at the same time, you can literally, if you have your camera facing back, you can honestly just freaking watch an AI just randomly fly out of the blue. That one time when you're having that quiet little jog, be like that one guy with the oppressor mark two comes along and absolutely ruins your fucking day. Or if you're just sitting there with your fucking car. Yeah, these things have enough power in the back of them, believe it or not, to actually push a car. I done it to one of my friend's freaking four-wheel drives that moved it. Not much, but it still ended up moving it. These things can also move cars up on their roofs. Actually pretty freaking funny. That one time that one guy gives you the shits in GTA Online. Everyone here's doing nothing wrong. I'm probably going to get a watch of for this. Okay, I did not get a watch of them. But that comes on to another problem. If you keep on hitting things with this, she is going to start smoking soon. Like, honestly, this thing is... I've already had to spawn this in like 400 times yesterday, and I've only just got this... I've only just got both of these yesterday. Uh, so, yeah, pretty much then it comes, like I said, comes back to the truck. Um, the MOC actually... Uh, pretty freak. Actually, these things are going to be, in my opinion, one of the most useful things if you're a role player. As I was saying, um, sheds and all that actually come in fucking major use, especially if you just love cruising around and having your car sit in the fucking back. Which may, as you can tell, guilty as charged, you never know when the fuck you need your car. Especially if you're in a role play and one of your friends want to drive your truck, well, the MAC, getting sick and tired of fucking constantly unspawning and respawning your vehicles. 
Get the shit up in the back. Um, as I was saying, I'm getting the living quarters right here, and I'm moving my living quarters over to, um, you know, a bit more of a fun place where you can operate cannons from. Like, fuck. Having cannons on this thing. This thing's already overpowered without them. Even with the first cannon, it's overpowered, which that brings me... Basically on to the next thing. If you really want constant heat use, just let me know. I'll be putting them up on Mixer as well. So if you want to go down to Mixer and type in my gaming tag, which is yet my YouTube name. Um, so yeah, pretty much I'm not going to end it there. Uh, as well as eventually I will be soon, um, you know, getting myself the terabyte, which I'll be doing a review on when I get that thing modded. As that is going to be where I get my missiles on my Mark II oppressor and any other uh, weaponized vehicles, I will physically upgrade from there. Okay, this leads me on to where you could go have a bunker, which you need the bunker to get the MOC. You need the bunker to get the MOC, you need the night club for the terabyte if you didn't know, and um, if you really, really want to be a badass and a big motherfucking plane and can't ship all the way across San Andreas, uh, short term, long story short, the Avenger in other words, um, you're going to need the facility. Um, no, you cannot cross, I've tried putting this in my facility. It says you need to physically put it in the bunker for everything to work, as my mechanic for the bunker is... The mechanic for the truck is actually in the bunker. So that one guy, if you don't have a truck, stand there board shitless. Or when I say shit, stand there board shitless actually has something to do when you ask him to do some modifications to your fucking MOC. Like, for example, I still need to get myself some lights. No, in case if you're wondering, some people, you cannot have neons under your MOC. Actually comes in pretty much hand. As who would want, but unless if you're an absolute idiot. Sorry to say, if you love your freaking um... Okay, yeah, that almost happens. Okay, so she's supposed to be a V2A4 supercharged, but mine is a V24 freaking turbocharged. Okay, so the, the cab is basically like your normal everyday old car. You know, you can upgrade shit here and there. Um, basically, as I said, just basically. I don't know what's the point of that. That is something more like me. I need to save up for that. That's the first thing. I need to save up for that. What's the point of them? They have no point as the model as the current day truck. You can also lower it, but if you want to look like a dickhead with a slam truck, which honestly, in my opinion, makes absolutely no sense at all. Like, tire smoke on these things, yet again. Rockstar, why do you put such little useless things on such an awesome truck? Like, tire smoke, who's got to try to yeah, you can do burnouts in these things, but it is literally just the world's most awful burnout as a fact that it's a goddamn truck doing it. Then that brings me on to the handy thing with the reinforcements of the bulletproof tires. If you're sick and tired of everyone shooting your freaking tires at the MOC, get that. As well as, Pete, if you're wondering on how come you cannot see inside of people's freaking MOCs. There you go, they use limo wing. They use limo tins. Just so then you cannot see inside their truck. Uh, pretty much that goes on for that. Then here comes the trailer. I've got to say myself, if you're into just standard stars and shops, go for it. If you're into having an eagle on the back of it, which I might get. Well, then there's the eagle with the claw flag. Which actually does look pretty freaking cool. Or oh, then there is fighting for freedom, which makes no sense in my truck. I'll probably just go for something like that, as I do like having decals up on top of my freaking trucks. But I'm going to go for a very, very basic one, just like that, which is 128,000, which that also leads on to the plates. 
Uh, yep. You can have your private plates if you do. Um, pretty much that goes on to talking about it. I might want to frame that as uh, now it looks like a legit. Uh, at the moment, that's just made black. Unless if I can get that to blend in with everything else. Which sadly, no, I cannot. Okay. If I have it all blended in together, that's going to be a little bit more money. I can't be stuck doing that. Which that leads on to the weapons. Yep, front on it. You need to get that with you get that with the command center. The other one, the two at the back, believe it or not, which completely sucks. Um, this weapon can be unlocked for purchase via research. Yep. Sadly, you have to research that one. I want that yesterday. Um, if you're not an MOC owner, honestly, get yourself an MOC. What I'm saying is, get the MOC. If you have an oppressor, if you don't have an oppressor, you're not really into like fucking flying bikes and shit. But if you what, if you're a real hardcore truck lover, definitely get one of these. Like, honestly, that's what I'm saying. I'm not saying I'm not telling everyone, hey, go get yourself a fucking truck. I'm saying, if you really want yourself a truck, get yourself a truck. Guys. Guys. Hi. Okay, so she is pretty modified. As I said, I've got, as you said, I've got the level 4 engine and all that. She does have a good pound of good, good. She is pretty fucking handy to have. Better yet. Um, I might want to leave that quickly, uh, start up my CEO. As I said, if anyone else wants to do Doomsday Act 2, I am quite happy to do it, but first things first, we have to get all the preps done, as my friend could not get any of the preps. As we kept failing the first prep, which is the Avenger, um, which is pretty sad, as I would not want to have that uh, close to a million dollars. I've got a million dollars, I'll come in handy. You'll get that up, you'll actually get it upgraded, the truck. You'll get my MOC upgraded, and left over I would really just save up to get Parabyte. Which, that would bring you on to making some pretty good money if you want to make 30 grand by 30 grand every around about 10 minutes. 5, 10 minutes, 10, uh, 30 grand. It may doesn't sound like much, but if you save it up and if your bills don't come along and bite you on the ass like me, well, like how they usually do, um... You can make some pretty good fucking money. Okay, so as well as that would lead me on to Rockstar's creative games. Rockstar, honestly, what the fuck? These simming missions, all these fucking missions, uh, or every play mission in the game should always be at least on double money in RP. Just so then we actually have a chance of making some good hardcore money. As well as, sorry about my camera angle guys on YouTube, when you end up seeing the video, um, I could not find what I usually do use for my, U, for my YouTube video, so I just went and done that. Okay, so, okay, so that just leads me straight on to where it comes into because at times you successfully get this shit done, and at times you just get pissed off fucking Simeon as literally cops, cops, and yet you guessed it, more cops. I only am just using that so I can, um, you know, get in there without being detected. Well, you know, it's probably a pop play in GTA anyway. I'm not too sure the temperature in GTA. As nobody fucking does, and nobody really needs to buy in one box. Sorry about the rapid use of coarse language. Um, frankly, I just don't really care about coarse language too much. Um, next guy probably would. And as well as people who says my videos are clickbait. 
Um, this is not print plate. And when I did say I own this thing, as you can see what I mean now, by I actually freaking own them. And the fact that I actually do find the oppressor pretty freaking handy for when it comes to when you get the um, missiles on them. They come in handy and making at least a good 2 million. Look at other YouTubers doing it just out of the blue. Have their friends, they had their friends with them and they were just literally grinding their ass off or not that much. Which eventually, well, I will be doing. I wish I could do a review on the Sasquatch. Um, even in the mission, it's not the best. Honestly, I've got to admit, these Sasquatches are pretty boring to drive. All that they're good for is really running over fucking cops. But for everyday use, or even freaking arena wars. In the arena wars, they're so easy to destroy, like, you could be in a Mustang and you could just literally flip one by going up underneath it. I've seen a lot of people with ramp cars just out of the blue flip one of these things. It is fucking insanely easy to destroy. But yet, in the mission, it makes them look like they're invincible. And then when you actually go destroy a car with well, it's still stuck on their walls, you're fucking dead. You have to probably pay like fucking like 50 grand for the insurance this thing. Ridiculous. Like, even if you just do that by accident, you accidentally blow up someone's car. They don't sit still. They basically look dead up on top without that big. That's what it's like. The Sasquatch? Not the best. Um, yeah, I'm just doing random reviews until I actually get some ideas of what people want me to do. If you say the Hydra, I'm gonna have to try and source one out. Um, I don't own a Hydra just yet. I am working on owning one of them, but something that I'll do, something that I do I like the Rolling Voices or something like that. Um, well, if you want me to keep going about the MOCs, on actually how tactical they are, but how good they are at the country, they're actually a pretty fucking good war machine, I've got to say myself, but then when it comes to their driving, that is a pain in the ass around every corner in Los Santos, the MOCs. And on YouTube, sorry for um, being really boring, that's the only reason why I'm also doing this mission, is to entertain you, give you a bit of an entertainment, and actually so then you can see what I really get up to in my spare time, and actually how I make money, believe it or not, yep, even without double money in IP, I still do the submin missions. I still do them, um, sadly I can't get my act 2 done. The guy, whoever's watching now, I'd mix it, if you want to do act 2 with me, go ahead. I'll send you onto the party. Um, but we will have to do all the setups, sadly. That's just a minor setback. But hey, in the end, you get some good money if you want to do Act 3 as well. I would like doing that. Um, I do need to get these acts out of the way. Uh, This is what I mean, like, literally, these things are pretty much pointless at the moment. These monster trucks, people say the Sasquatch is good. Uh, um, I could easily get my other controller set up and then we could just do it that way because I do know another way on how to do it. Um, yeah, as well as Dragon Blood, if you are also liking YouTube 
YouTubers. I am a YouTuber as well. I've been doing this fucking hell. This has been gone for 36 minutes. This has been gone for 36 minutes on YouTube as well. Jesus Christ. Um. Get back to me. Get back to me. My super. I'm me super. Go me super. Yep. I also kind of do know the cars. It's not that hard to tell that this is a super. Oh, get out of the way. These things are not so indestructible like all the other freaking or any of those vehicles. Not coming. I come from. Not coming from experience, but actually coming from what friends said to me and all that. The Arena Wars, they're over a million dollars. The only really good one is the 350 Z, which is the armor. I'll quickly check that after this mission for the news. Um. Oh shit. How the fuck did he survive by getting shot in the head? That is confusing GTA logics. They get blown up, these two guys. And somehow they still find a way on how to get back up. Rockstar, make your logics more realistic, please. GTA 4 was more realistic than GTA 5, I actually got to admit that, but. Um, you're currently looking at it, mate. GTA Racer 2002. So, yeah, pretty much as well as, um, sadly, I really wish I could do some more really good reviews. Um, God damn, I just. That done. Oh god, now I have to fight my ass out of here again, don't I? Yep, knew it. Okay, coming for it, cops. Get out of here. Get out of my way. Shit. Dude, I so wish that these things are actually invincible. This thing would make an overpowered beast. But sadly, these things are not that invincible. You're more safe on the Oppressor Mark II where you're open to get shot in the face. No, I'm being serious. Only one of them is fun, but my friend yesterday constantly headshot me off it. They're useful, yes, but certain content they're useful is what I'm pretty much saying. Um, as well as Drag Guy at the end of this, if you want me to give you a tour of my MIC, which is kind of playing at the moment, I'll quite happily do that as I've already given a tour of it, but who uh, cares? Um, I don't know. I'm not trying to rub it in, I'm not trying to show it off, I'm just actually trying to do a quick, trying to do a review. Now get back here, deviant. Or AMC javelin in real life. Get back here. Get the hell back here. Sweet bro, thanks for the fight. Get your friends involved as well. The more followers and the more subscribers on YouTube, the happier that this is and the more I can do good content like this as. I kind of need the money to do the content for it. RIP AIs. Honestly, put down in the comments, RIP AIs for every AI I kill, apart from these fucking cops. Oh look, it's a full focus. Oh god damn it, RIP. Sorry mate, I didn't mean to kill you. Uh, get out of the way, coppers, I don't care about you. Uh, get out of my vehicle, this is not my vehicle, so I don't have to get out by law. And the fact that he's only out to kill me, yeah, give me more reasons to not... Oh, get back here. Come here! Come here! Jesus Christ, this kind of looks easy. As well as, I learnt another little trick. If you dawdle around in missions, well, like these, like for example, you earn a little extra money, so instead of your usual boring 20, 21,000, I think you earn, uh... I'm not too sure how much you earn, I think it's like 35,000 or something. I think. Um... 
I'm going to run around a little bit later on. I'm pretty sure you guys will find this a bit more entertaining than just seeing fucking MOCs like 400 times. MOCs are useful though. But if you really want to have that as your armed vehicle and customization wear play, uh, customization plays, go for it. Or if you want to do it like how I've got my, how I'm getting mine set up, which is one of the missions. And that is as actually a mobile home. Yep, they come in handy if you're a role player. They come in handy for basically about anyone, including your local tryhards. That's why they are so freaking awesomely handy that anyone has a use for them. It's not like, oh, only tryhards have a use for them. Fucking hell. I'm not, as well as I'm saying, um. The Mark II Oppressor, which I own, I'm not a tryhard. They have a significant amount of handy if you want to make a couple of them. You just need to get those rockets, which you need. An Avenger, MOC, or Terabyte with their weapons and vehicle customization place up in the back. And boom, you're away. Get the rockets set on there. I think it costs like a grand or so, I'm not too sure. But then once you get all that job done, Next, do is simply just get your rockets. Um, if you have an MC, I think in the search and destroy or the criminal mischief with a friend, do that a couple of times and you have around about six, eight million dollars. Let's look it up on YouTube from other YouTubers. Um, that will show you on how to tips and tricks. Then there's Pyrolin's way of making money, which is actually pretty fucking boring. Pyrolin makes around about a million a day. Um, yeah. With uh, one of those flame things, well, I should say the flame bugger that I've got, which is the Mark II Oppressor, you can make around about up to 30, 40 million a day if you're skilled and talented enough. I'm just saying everyone's up. Basically, even a half blind, if not a full blind person can do it. It is just so simple to do. All that you just got to do is get an oppressor mark too. That is the hard part. The hard part is getting the equipment that you need, but then after that, dear God, all the way from there, it is just smooth sailing. If you have a friend or if you have someone who absolutely adores playing GTA with you like every second of the day when you get sick of playing it, call them up or get them in. Have freaking fun. Literally. Just blast off and make yourself a good couple of million. Help. And if you need help in doing I'll that in GTA and Wayne, and it was just like me, um, there is little things called shark cards. Sadly, yeah, I had to use shark cards to get my things, but in the end, shark cards actually is one of the most easiest ways to make money. Unless if you don't have the money in real life and you just absolutely adore grinding this fucking game. And yet, if you're not used to swearing on my YouTube, on my YouTube channel, um, Dragon or Drago, there is a lot of swearing in it. I've got to say myself, um, there is one of my videos that's hit already over a thousand views, which is actually me, actually about a parody, um, not about a parody, not actually making a parody. No, no, no. Um, I used. I actually, um, once upon a time, used to, um, what is it? React to, react to videos, yeah, that's it, um, I need to get back to that, but I just need to get more equipment for that. Um, my YouTube is actually playing off my phone right now, I am making a YouTube video right now, sadly it's not live, as I don't have my, as I don't have a goddamn red cam, but, Hey, I just need to get myself a couple more things. Hopefully it's in a month or two. Hopefully I can get my things before... Yeah, that's the only reason why I'm laid off my YouTube for a while, but I am slowly getting back into it as well as I did have school and all that. That kind of got the way. What the fuck? I got stuck. Okay, so this is another problem that you have with GTA. Swear to God, these guards and these cops, 
when you get stock dice seriously come off, it gets annoying. That, I bet that also gives you a bit more time to, you know. As well as, this is where most of the memes have actually came from, GTA Online, yep. Um, there's a press mark 2 memes, GTA Online and tryhards. Well, GTA Online is basically full of tryhards, so if you're not a tryhard, and you want to get to be a tryhard, swear to god, I have already just tried that. Once you get the oppressor mark to if it doesn't go to your head, even with the missiles, and you just love cruising around on it, like me, um, it actually comes in a freaking pretty good hair. Okay, it's not going to just seem there. 23,000 is usually like 20 grand, um, so it actually does amp up the money just a bit. Not much, but if you keep saving, keep saving, then, you yeah, know, keep fucking saving. Eventually, you're going to get to the point where you could just const. Oh, fuck. Okay, so um, I'm doing another job. Um, hopefully, you just don't mind about that. Um, as I want to get back to my MOC, um, as like I said, if there is anyone who wants to also help me out with the MOC missions, which helps you unlock even more things. For that, I have to, uh, um, get more stuff done. I'll be back. Okay. Sorry about that, that was just a thing, um... Uh, sorry about that, uh, that was just a little bit of a thing, um... Just I had to sort out, um... There's the oppressor! Yep, this is actually in stock standard colour as well, Drago. It comes in a metallic midnight blue, which I'm actually going to be keeping. That little part that you set up at the back of the flame, that comes with some awesome fun when you absolutely just want to piss off the AIs or even just want to see your friends just go for one half out the road. It comes pretty handy as well as if you just really have enough to speed on these things. Pretty much now I'm just showing you guys a little trick on how to keep actually mobile while letting this thing recharge because yes you actually have to have your foot off the accelerator for it to work. Here's a problem, I'm probably going to have to fix this one. No. No. Get out of the way. I just need that. Okay, there's two cars in here. Um, I think they're both in here. Yes, they are. Yep, they are. Okay, so we have this. I want to do a review on it later on, but I can't just yet. Just like with the shear right up in the back, which is a at the moment at the um, at one's a Benny's car. Well, we, and how it is, they've transferred it over to Benny's as it's a custom this is a Triumph. I've got to say myself, pretty good car. Too bad they cop. I'm too bad they copied the car off Chrome in the way. Um, it would look really good in the red or blue, probably even in orange. But this thing in Chrome does not really look the best. I've got to admit that. It does not look as hot as it should. This car does not look as hot. Um, yeah, pretty much I'm just doing a random. Um, this is just going to be called random reviews. As well as if you want me to read you something, um, let me know. I'll try to source it out. If I can't source it out for the next video, depends on when that is. That's probably going to be later in the day, if not tomorrow. Um, honestly, yeah. 
I will be getting around to do this stuff so I um I know people get bored of watching like a 50 fucking minute video of this this crap um that's why I want to hurry up and get a couple more things done. Um behind the scenes of even my um mixer Hello I will what just can I do for you? simply Oh hey! I will You're be getting it done up a little okay. bit more. So if you I'll miss out on today's, if you missed out on the um, so I don't think you will miss out on today on how it looks. But at the moment, it does look pretty bland. I got to admit. Okay, now where is that oppressor? As well as if I've been hanging out with you on GTA Online and all that for a while, I will actually let you find the oppressor. Just like if it doesn't go to your head, you know, it. Wait a minute, it always comes back. I do you know I'm going to that. Like if you want me to draw more vehicles, let me know. Or if you actually want me to do a weapons review. I can't do a Mark II weapon review as I need to do research them and I frankly just don't have the time for it. Crap, then do I have the money to actually such a way? Because I prefer to buy my products and steal on it. It's a pain in the ass, especially if your lagged out lobby gets intruded. Like yesterday, I had a lagged out lobby that got fucking intruded, and I lost more of my money. Here's the thing that you gotta hate about Fox. They attack you when you're not attacking them. In this mission. God damn it! You guys should just learn to leave people alone who needs just to earn a quick dollar. Honestly, that's another thing, bro. Cops in this game can become a real fucking nonsense. They can become worse than your local crap. Out of putting up with these guys and putting up with try hard the rest of the time, I would actually put up with Most likely these guys. Until they call that fucking hell out on you, then I'll take the try hards. Remember, like, literally, that hell does not leave you alone. missions you can do it smart or you can do it stupid. The other reason why I can't do a review of this one um, on these two vehicles at the moment because I do not know their specs. When I get mine I'll be able to definitely do a review if you want me to but until then um, I'm working on getting a terabyte at the moment as well. Well, not just at the current stage. After I get the MOC fleet modified, which I need my new interior, I need new living quarters, and I actually need to hit the command center, and that's really about it. And if people ask me to get the flat face truck, uh, uh, the flat face cab, yeah, that's a no, as that thing I have seen reviews on, that thing is just as terrible as shit. The only good thing it's for is really getting yourselves out of freaking harm um, situations until the missile comes and hits you in the face. The cab that I got, especially on how I have it with arm, um, I think I've got 100% armor on it. I think, I'm not too sure. It actually does come in handy. Um, so yeah, if you cruise around GTA a lot one day, you see a truck with GTA racer plates on it. If you see a truck with GTA racer plates on it, I'll quickly get out. Or if you see, uh, 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 um, I'm not sure if you've already just seen his face. Or I see a guy that sort of looks like Pro Gaming's guy. 
hot from the whole looks. How do these dark ones look? Awful little boy. Well, she said, oh, character names. Nick or Belk. Yeah, I had to do that. Um, that's just perfectly normal. Whoa. Um, but there's, I'm probably going to do uh, one a day of the, um, This is just so simple and easy to do, but yet at the same time, the cops can be a real fucking pain in the ass. But in the end, it's not bad money, but hey, uh, it's not so good money either. Um, okay, pretty much they're the only two missions I mainly do, is those two. Um, there is other ways on how to earn money, which is also if you have a nightclub, wait for it to be stocked up. So I earn like 68,000 today from it. I just have to wait for it to restock up again. So, um, yeah. Um, okay, now where are you? Where, where's my account? There it is. Oh, fuck. Well, that's a bonus. I'm now up to 37 subscribers. After I lost count how many months of trying. Well, years actually. Alright, uh, and we'll be starting to do more uh, YouTube videos. I right, at the moment. I will be on and off of the YouTube videos. I am mainly going to try to get back to them as much as I can. Oh, I just realised that um, fuck, I'm actually in a normal room now. Uh, fuck, okay. Yes, this is a private lobby, but I. I'll, I will also make a public, I do also make public privates. Should I just realise I forgot to do something? Where's that? My bet friend is probably going to send me a game and all that shit now, but I don't really care. Um, Okay, now where is he? Where is he? Where is he? What do I do? Oh, yeah, the MSC. Shit, that's right. Oh, fuck. Okay, and I've got an extra two grand. That actually comes in handy, so now I have 72,000. Um, what on now? I still need. And the best way for you to actually keep your money in detail online is do not do money glitches. I swear to God, those glitches, even I know from experience, I've lost freaking like four million dollars from it. You get the millions, but then you eventually lose it as Rockstar's found out that you glitch. Or they take everything away from you that you've done it with. That's why I went and got some sharp arts. Shark cards is the latest way out, but yet at the same time it's the most easiest way to get things so you can earn more money. So then eventually you don't actually need to pay for shark cards. There she is, there's the MIC. A nice personal black and red together equals a nice looking truck. As you can see the red there, it sort of looks greenish. Wait, 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 I've got a vehicle sitting in there. I should have. Yeah, it should be my dick in there sitting in here. Yep, you know what? There's the dick of death. She's just playing bone stock. I use that for um 
CEO missions and a couple of other missions. This is going to be my living quarters for um, Drago. So, at the moment it's planned. That's my living quarters at the moment. This is actually going to be my operations. This is going to be my main centre. This is going to be the operational centre, whatever it's called. I'll just quickly do a check up on what it's called. Um, yep. I need 1.375 for that, and it's pretty expensive to get this stuff. And yet, if you wanted to get a flat nose, that's 1.4 fucking million. I find that a waste of time, as that just adds money on. Good song playing too, really catching the crowd. Um, so pretty much, uh, I'm gonna have mine laid out, and no, uh, I'm not gonna have that flat nosed. Um, pretty much how mine's gonna be all laid out is I'm gonna actually keep that normal cab because I absolutely love the Phantom Custom. 580,000, I'm 72,000, I still need to have 500,000. So, I'm just signing off at the moment. If you wanna go check out my YouTube channel, that's GTA Racer 2002. Um, bro, that's watching this. Tell your friends about it. I will be probably making another. I'll be probably doing an update later on today, if not tomorrow. But until then, GTA Racer 2002 signing off.